A new pro-life jewelry line has launched, and this is truly amazing. It's going to be countering the pro-choice jewelry that's out there. Guys, I'm going to break it all down for you right now. Welcome to The Conservative Truth. If you guys don't mind giving this video a like, share it across all of your platforms to help me spread the word, and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to enable notifications so you never miss a new video whenever one is posted. Well, back in June, Selena Gomez went on live with Kelly and Ryan to show off her brand new 1973 necklace, of course, supporting the abortion movement. Of course, 1973, you know, meaning 1973 was the year the Supreme Court legalized the abortion in the country. Roe v. Wade, of course, she was promoting All Happy on the show a couple of months ago. And then they found out that 30% of all the proceeds for anybody that wanted to purchase a 1973 necklace was going to go towards various abortion clinics. Well, what a surprise, right? Selena Gomez was so happy about this. However, thankfully, there was a group that rose up that said they are going to counter this. And the name of that group is called COL1972. Now, COL stands for Culture of Life, because what they're doing is basically going directly at them, saying that 1972 was the last year that America celebrated a culture of life before that devastating decision of Roe v. Wade was made in 1973. Now, Carla D. Addisey is the one that started this line. Uh, she started it with her daughters, and they just launched, just launched last month, the first line of necklaces. Uh, and they have a lot more to come as well. In fact, they're planning on releasing some clothing, other types of jewelry. Right now, it's just the necklaces. Uh, and their prices are even lower than those of the 1973 necklace, so that's pretty cool. They even got on board Abby Johnson, the pro-life activist. Of course, you guys remember the movie Unplanned that was based around her life when she was a former clinical director for Planned Parenthood. Now she champions for pro-life movements across the country. She is going to be serving as the brand ambassador for the COL 1972 necklace line. So that is very cool as well. I mean, they're just doing great work here. If you guys want to check out some more information about this, I'll put it below in the link in the description. But it's nice to see a company that's coming out and celebrating um, the unborn, willing to protect life in America once again. In fact, they even said that with the sale of every necklace that they have, they're going to include a piece of paper with that so that anybody that asks you, what does COL 1972 mean? There'll be a little piece of paper on there, and it tells you exactly what you can say in response to somebody when they ask that question, which, like I said, is it represents the last year that America celebrated a culture of life before the devastating Roe v. Wade decision in 1973. Guys, I want to hear from you. What do you think about this new fashion jewelry line release celebrating the pro-life movement? Let me know in the comments section. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I will talk with you soon.